Welcome, welcome, welcome to Love and Then What? Love and Then What? With your host, Justin Judge and Julie Ferguson C. Right, let's talk about your ex that you lived with. Okay. How did you meet this person? Uh, so this was back in 2009. Me and another ex had just recently broken up. I was with her for about two years. We broke up right after my birthday, which is in February. And uh, my buddy, uh, two buddies of mine had taken me out because they were trying to get me out of my funk because I was being a little emo kid. Yeah. And they were like, yo, you want some hot dogs? I was like, fuck yeah, I want some fucking dogs. <laughs> That's such a weird thing. I know, I know all things, hot dog. Because <laughs> he got me a little hungry. I ain't going to lie. I got hungry Listen, for a hot dog like, right now when he said like that. When but. I'm sad, I, I'm I'm the opposite. I'm fucking hungry, man. I'm like a hungry dude. This is why I get a gut. Well, it's not because I'm sad. It's just because I get stressed out at work. But anyway. I went through my divorce. I didn't eat, but go on. Anyway. Well, I mean, I went through that period, too. We'll get to that, believe yes. me. We will get to that because it fluctuates. But at that time, I wanted a fu- nothing more than this fucking hot dog. So <laughs> two of my buddies uh, took me. They were like, yeah, we're going to pick up a girl. And, uh, again, I'm going nameless. She's not going to be dumb enough to not figure this out if she ever sees us anyway. Yeah, it you're right. Uh, <laughs> but it's all right. <laughs> but it's all right. So <laughs> well, far, did you, where did you meet her? The hot dog place? We'll call it hot no, dog so, so we, we – this girl was a part of the hot dogs. Now, mind you, we never got these hot dogs. That's the – What? That's, that's can, we, the right, can we call her hot dog girl? Just so just hot call, dog girl. Let's that's call her hot dog girl. I, I like mean, that name. It's going to fit really well. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to fit really well. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we went to pick up this girl and um, – she got in the back seat. I'm in the back seat. And, you know, we're just riding around. And uh, obviously I had a crush on her because I thought she was very attractive. This and the third. And um, this was the first girl that I've, like, kind of vibed with since my ex, like, be- before her. And, um, you know, we, we talked a bit, yada, yada. And actually at that point we actually did not get together. We, like, we hooked up. Like, we made out. But she actually ended up being with someone else, which is happens to be her – she, she she started going out with this guy for about a year. This is also the dude that she's currently engaged to. All right, hold on. Yeah, so, I know. Trust me. So it's, I'm lost. So, I know. Right. No, no, so I, you're going to you get, get hot dogs with two guys. Correct. And they say, let's which is already girl. Which is already weird enough. Like hot dogs. He's going to want 60 Thank minutes. You, sir. You're going to want 60 minutes? No, no he was good. This no, is he, good. Because right, I'm right. driving. Thank you. Oh, shit. Um, do you mind getting me the keys on your way back? Because they have the uh, opener. They're over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to take my car, too, while you're at it? Um. So, all right, so you meet this girl for hot dogs. She's dating somebody at the time? No, all right, so she's she's kind of sort of seeing this guy, but not really, nothing official. But then since I was not ready for a relationship, she wanted to move on. And my point was that it just so happens to be the guy that she's currently engaged to, but I will get to that. So, Wait, hold on real quick. I'm not sorry if I sure, didn't sure. listen, but why, was she, why weren't you ready for a relationship? Because I had just gotten out of one, and I was just and like— how long of a period— before you started again? less than a month okay and i was and i was okay, with her for two years understandable so, yeah, understandable yeah, understandable yeah. keep continuing um that doesn't apply to my current relationship no, but we'll, we'll get there gotcha. but um so yeah anyway so she ended up seeing him for about a year and i'll let you just question the rest because you asked how she how we met so you can you can keep on going with the you questions. guys go out for hot dogs and then hot dogs. that you guys that make we never out. got that we never gave and we didn't meet out that night. It was like about a week later. Yeah. Why didn't you get the hot dogs? Wait, well, hold on, hold on, real quick. Real quick. So, I'm confused. Are we talking about the girl you with right now? No. no I'm, I'm going to shut the fuck up until you talk about the girl right now. Okay. That's what I want to okay. talk about so right just, now. All right, just give us a real brief overview of the girl that... No, 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 because this girl's important because she used to. he used to live with her. Right. Oh. Yeah. So, well, wait. Y'all were right. living together that whole entire two years? Not those two years, no. That, two, that, one and that a half? Is, that was when we made out and literally she went off with another guy because I wasn't ready for a relationship. And it just so happens to be the dude that she is engaged to now. But the year later, they started, you know, getting bad and, like, you know, they broke up and I still had a crush on her. And then we started going out for almost eight years. Wait, 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 wait. We're not talking about the girl you with right now. No. Oh, my Lord. Well, wait, so you were dating somebody for eight years. You moved into a house. No, that's after the whole two years. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Correct. This is a new girl. So this is Correct. 10. No, 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 no. This is a different girl. No. Correct? No, this is not a different girl. This is, all right, so. Everybody. You guys are getting confused. I'm sorry. Let me, yeah. let, yes, me, let, me are. let me back up. Let me back up. The girl that I saw for two years. Okay. After her, there was another girl. Okay. And we made out, and then a year later, when she was with the guy that is currently with the dude, she's currently with the same guy that she is engaged to. Of the girl you made out with. Correct. Not the we, same girl. That, no. 
Okay, no, my bad, Judge, yeah. because that's my bad. So then a bad. year later, they broke up, and we started going out. And for... this is the girl you with now? No. That's oh, my Lord. I'm done. All, I'm right, so, all right, so you date this girl for eight years. You guys <laughs> let me in. Let me leave that part out. I'm confused. We dated it for eight years. The first time that we made out, she's ended up going out with the guy, and I'm, I'm going to leave that second part out because I think that's where it's screwing you guys up. She get we ended up going with a guy for about a year, and they broke up, and then me and her started going out. It's not the two-year girl. Okay. Me and this girl started going out for almost eight years. You, you get me? Get Real quick, again? this will okay. fix me right here immediately. We're going to end up talking about three girls, correct? Correct. Say less. I know what you're talking the, about now. But the first one is almost irrelevant only because that was like my first... I, no, I feel you. No, no, yeah. I feel you. I feel and you. I feel not you. that I'm actually friends with the girl now. She's a very nice girl. No, that's I good. That's good. That's, that's actually good. You feel yeah, me? You yeah. shouldn't be... In the no. second one, however... No. Okay. Because she's so a bitch. That's why. All right. So you're together eight years. You guys got a house together. How does the breakup happen? After eight. I want to hear this. So, um, <laughs> he needs that. So how did the breakup happen? And out yes. off that eight. So it's so, it's so complicated. All right. Make it. You, you're smart enough. Sum it All up. All right. So summing it up, um, I was diagnosed with OCD and anxiety when I was 10 years old. Okay. And. Unfortunately, I have a thing where I cannot let go of a thought. And, like, if someone, t like, for example, if you tell me not to push the red button, I'm going to be constantly thinking about that fucking red button. <laughs> I got you. Constantly. Got you. So, if I'm told not to think about something, I'm going I'm to think, think about, about it. it. She told me not to think about women. Well, and uh, she asked me every thought I had. <sighs> what? Yeah, what do you so, mean, every thought? Yeah. She would she would ask me if I thought that girl was good looking, this girl was good looking. So this she was self conscious. Incredible. Yeah, it was good. And, and, it has and, to be that. And I feel bad for her. I really do because that's a legitimate self issue, and I'm not bashing her. I'm not. Agree. That's, that's a real you. issue. I don't bash you. Real you, issue, and I feel I awful. Know. But unfortunately, in the end, it her self her her self security and versus my OCD and anxiety completely clash together big time so there for a while i would make myself think i wasn't thinking about these certain things like because i was able to control my mind i was for a long time but then towards the end i took a medication to help my anxiety which is for a different purpose because i lost my dad at a very young age i'm sure you both remember yes i'm sorry and, and thank you and um so i took these medications but i tried another one because i felt like i was having random panic attacks and I'm going to tell you right now, medications can bring out the worst in you. I fully agree. And it I fully did. agree. And this Prozac, don't ever fuck with it. It is the worst thing because it. I don't like medicine. It was the There's beginning no of the end with me and my ex. I feel that you should yeah. be able to talk to somebody to make you feel better. And I did better than. And we'll get else. to that. Mm -hmm. So any anyway, long story short, we became very toxic. Um, both of our things were, were mashing each other. And, like, as easy as it sounds to just be like, well, don't think about the thing or let it be normal, something like that, it just wasn't for either one of us. So we went on about a three-month break. And in that meantime, um, she had broken up with me, and I kind of saw it coming. But in a two-week period, I still didn't want to see no one else because I was, like, still in love with her. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, I something made me go on the ex-boyfriend's Facebook, the one that she had, like, made out with or sorry that she was with for a year in that meantime and she was in a relationship with him two days before we had even broken up so yeah. how long do you think they've been screwing for i'm not stupid exactly right. Right. I'm not you stupid. said we could do the math in our own day right. women are so i'm not stupid dirty nowadays no but right. you gotta remember some of these females are very but i tried thinking I about tried it hard yeah. i tried hard, i hear you bro man. i hear you bro. i tried more than but honestly that cheating as much as that fucked me up it honestly was the best thing that ever happened to me. Great. And, we'll, and, we'll, and we'll get to it because we want to hear about my parent. Damn my, my parent one. Yeah, Damn so I'm telling you, man. Yes, it was the best thing that I want to get into that later. I want to get into Chris's yeah, uh, marriage. You get to that later. <laughs> mm. uh, this is one question. Get okay, actually one question. And let me start off with this. Hey, so one uh, only one question? Um, one question for right now. So let me know. Okay, so up. tell us. A, let's just, just give us a brief overview of your relationship with your ex wife. All right. Well, um, I started out with my ex-wife, uh, you know, uh, I started out in the oil field. I mean, I went to college and all that, but um, the next year I decided to get in the oil field. It's a lot more money, a lot more, you know what I mean, a lot more opportunities and stuff like that. In a nutshell, I'm saying I failed out of the first grade, <laughs> <laughs> out of the second semester. But, um, <laughs> but uh yeah, I met her and stuff like that. You know, where at in the oil field or? No, I met her at college. 
you okay. know, going to college parties and stuff like that. That's where so, I met my ex. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we got serious real fast, you know what I'm saying? I don't recommend that for anybody who um who's young and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I was I was probably like she was probably like eighteen and I was probably like twenty two at the time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we had my daughter, my beautiful daughter. Um, Sophia. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just made, made, made it like an yeah. echo in the background. Yeah. We, we had her. Long story short, um, our relationship just started to fold and stuff like that. Like, we started to be suspicious of each other. How long into the relationship? Uh, it wasn't long. How long did it take you to get married? Uh... I don't even know to be honest. Um, Were you suspicious before you got married? No, uh, no. I, I think it was pretty much like a toxic relationship. Like y'all both in college, or I mean, she's in college. I'm in the oil field. So, do you think you got married because y'all got the kid? No, I don't think so. Uh, to be honest, like, when we, did the marriage? Did you get married before or after? What's that? Before and after the child? Did you get married? It, it was after. So, did you think in your eyes that? The only reason you got married to her because she holds your child. No. no, no, I don't think so. Because uh, I think uh, my son was on the way after that, and we got married in in between that. You know what I'm saying? So, but I mean, it's been a, it, it was a lot of things that went on. Like I don't know, like if you guys can see, like I got like a bunch of scars on my forehead. I got a, a real bad car accident. You know what I'm saying? Like. um you know, speeding, doing stupid shit. But um, it, it was a lot that went on during that short amount of time and stuff like that. I ended up going back into the oil field. And then, um, you know, things pretty much fell apart, you know. It, and you kind of expect that things. Like, when you're not around, she got to hear about the screaming baby while you out trying to make the bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what are you supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? You, you either got to be content with somebody that's willing to sit there and you know like take care of the babies and you know do all that until you get home not knowing what you're doing Mm -hmm. outside of that you know what i'm saying so it created a lot of insecurities in between both of us you know what i'm saying so she decided to leave i left i stayed and we we made it work it was hell on earth but you you guys lived together when you were broken up no 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 she went to her sister's house i had a house in um uh, right outside of Williamsport. So I stayed in that house where, you know what I mean, where right. we started out at. You know what I'm saying? I have three questions. Yes, sir. How much did you spend on the ring? <laughs> How? Uh, which one? <laughs> the wedding band and proposal all together. Shit. Uh, about like $40, I think. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It was more than that. I, I, have, I, I don't know. It, it's been so many times where it's been like, oh, you know, we're going to do this. And then I remember one time we got into it one time. I remember, like, I took the ring off her finger and I, like, walked outside. I threw it over my house. Mm-hmm. Still couldn't find it to the It's going to, like, pop up somewhere. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> a couple years from now. It's a dinosaur when it come out. <laughs> All right. Did you have a big wedding? Uh, no. It was very small. Yeah. Actually. It was like a courthouse wedding. Okay. God, I didn't even know he was yeah, getting married. And yeah, yeah, who <laughs> who was the one oh, that said you, I needed di- I wanted divorce? What's that? Who was the one that said I wanted divorce? Uh, she did for the most part. You know I mean, it was just like. Were you ready for that? No, I wasn't. I actually, it actually caught me off guard. How did you feel when she said that? Like, what did she did she say? I'm not happy. Or she said I want a divorce. Like, how? What was the conversation? So, uh, in a roundabout way, she told me she was talking to somebody else. You know what I mean? We got in an argument, and it was just like, we already knew it was on the brink. I'm like, Yo, you know, I need to know. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to come home from West Virginia. Because you worked down from here to West Virginia. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. so I'm just like, just tell me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Tell me. And she told me, and I was like, all right. You know what I mean? So when I got back, you know, my kid's stuff was moved to her sister's house and stuff like that. And my house was pretty much like, empty other than like stuff she probably couldn't carry so now, did you cry like what did you do did i i cried yeah how I, long did, how long did you cry for like i cried for like i'm not gonna lie like two months maybe 
I mean, it wouldn't be every second, but like you, nah, you got memory, it ain't easy. So I, right. I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't cry for that long because I. I knew I was just like, all right, I'm in this dark, cold house right now by myself. I gotta make it a home for them, you know. So you still had your kids? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. She, she yeah. just picked up and left and left the kids and everything. She she picked up, Dude, left the kids and took her. You know, took the kids to her sister's house. Her sister was in her corner. You know, like, you know, around that area. So. You, I don't understand people that back people that do fucked up shit. But at the end of well, the day, I'm still they, down there. I still come down there every time because it was a situation before that she was acting up. And then I drove my yeah, black ass yeah. all the way down there. Like, and I, don't, I, don't I that. fixed that whole situation. Thank you again for watching that YouTube clip. If you yeah, yeah. others like it, remember that like and subscribe button. If you have questions for us, go to our website and you can find our email, lovingthemode at gmail.com. You can also see other YouTube clips, highlights, previews to other clips, and behind the scenes features. If you want to listen to our podcast, go to anywhere where you listen to your podcast. And you can find Love and Then What There.